What's up, America? Let's have another conversation. 40 to 45% of small businesses that closed during the pandemic may not reopen. That's a very stunning thing to say. We've never had anything like this in history ever happen. And we're gonna talk about this because right now, all of the people on my Facebook page were like, we're gonna have a V-shaped recovery. They're now saying, be patient. When you bounce a ball, it hits the floor and it instantly pops up. That's a V-shaped recovery. It makes an actual V-shaped recovery. Now they're saying, be patient, be patient. Let me explain why this large percentage of businesses that are not gonna reopen is gonna prevent a V-shaped recovery and it's going to increase a long-term drag on unemployment. It's going to be a long-term drag on the economy. And I'm gonna tell you what you can do about it toward the end. Hey, if this is your first time here, be sure to get 30 days to 2,500, my course to help you start a small business to get some more money in your life. And be sure to get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Also grab that up so you can develop a super strong mental. Let's get into this. We have never had anything like this ever happen in American history. Now, I'm gonna give you some numbers. What does 43, 40 to 43% represent? Because that's just a percentage. We have 30 million small businesses in America. We're talking 10 to 12 million or more businesses shutting their doors. Now, what does that mean? Let's compare and contrast. Remember the Great Recession 12 years ago? Guess how many businesses closed during the Great Recession? Guess how many people were unemployed during the Great Recession? 1.8 million businesses closed during the Great Recession. It took us eight years to dig out of that. 1.8 million businesses. We're looking at a number that's going to be five to six times as large. Five to six times as large. And right now, People are kind of happy because, you know, <clears throat> we've had this conversation before, America, that when a business goes out of business, you really don't think about the business owner. You don't think about the employees losing their businesses, unless it's you. If it's you, yeah, you think about it, but it's like, I can get a good deal. That's all you care about. That's human nature. You know, it's not good or bad. That's just how it is. T 10 to 12 million businesses. We had 1.8 during the Great Recession. We had a lot of stuff that's going. We had high unemployment. It took us eight years to dig out of that. See, this is why I'm saying anyone who says that we're going to have a V-shaped recovery hasn't done the research. Because when I was like, look at 10 to 12 million businesses, in some places, this is going to kill some small towns. Because there's many small towns, there is just one or two major businesses. There's a few families that run the town and they have a business. A lot of these small towns are going to close. I mean, they're going to suffer. They're going to suffer. And this one statistic out of many is the reason that we're not going to have a V-shaped recovery. I want you to think, how many people are employed by most of America employed by small business? Over half of America's employed by small business. And we're looking at 40 to 45% of them turning off the lights. I want you to understand what this is going to do is going to decimate commercial real estate. Commercial real estate is going to be in a depression for years. Right now, you have many small business owners who cannot pay their rent. They're just, they have no revenue coming in. And then the landlords, like if you know my former landlord, all his real estate was owned outright. He owned it. So if we had a pandemic, you know, and he was still alive, they'd be good because those buildings are paid for. They could take this hit. They could just ride out the storm. But what about if you are a landlord and you have debt on your commercial real estate? This is a nightmare in the beginnings. This is a, because see, this is what's going to happen. The small businesses are going to shut doors. This is going to keep unemployment rather high for a long time. Now, there are many people who say, well, all these businesses are going to shut doors and people are going to buy their liquidated assets and start new businesses. 
Who are these people? Who, who's going who's gonna to buy all these liquidated businesses? We're talking 10 to 12 million businesses. If you didn't know America, I used to be a reseller. I used to buy stuff and flip it. I used to buy anything, office furniture, cars. And I'm going to tell you, the auctions are going to go cheap. Why? Because there's going to be so many of them. This is what happens. I remember, you know, if you didn't know, and you can go ahead and check it out the early videos on this channel. I used to do storage auctions, you know, storage wars, auction hunters. I did that for real. And what, what, what would happen when you had a bunch of storage units for auction? They would go cheap. They would go super, super cheap. I remember one Christmas time, and if you want to get the storage auction game, one of the best times to buy storage auctions are December. And I remember I went to this auction and this was early, early in my storage auction career. I didn't have a lot of money. I literally had $25 on me and I told my partner, I'm just going to go out and see what I can get. At the end of the day, my $25 got me 28 units because I got three units for free because no one wanted them. There was all that was like literally on the store auction trail. There was about 12 of us out there and 150 units. I could have got more, but I was scared because I had to move all that stuff and I was making deals like if I buy this unit, can you give me a month to get it? Sure. Okay, we know you. You good. So this is what's going to happen. There's going to be liquidation sales all over the place. There's going to be a mass flooding of inventory on the market. And it's going to go super cheap because there's going to be so much of it which is not going to be for the benefit of the people who are liquidating this stuff because the stuff's going to go cheap and there are not going to be that many buyers. Because I, I ask you, America, who's going to buy all this liquidated stuff and start businesses? Who? It won't be the millennials. 75% of them are broke. It won't be the baby boomers. They like, hey, I'm trying to get out of the game. I'm trying to sit back and retire to the mountains with mama. Who? Who's going to buy this stuff? So first thing is, you know, once again, commercial real estate's about to be decimated for many, many years. Now, the second thing that's going to happen is it's going to keep unemployment high. And the third thing that's going to happen is it's going to destroy some small communities. Some of these small businesses are the hub and are the hub of the small community. Like literally everyone in town works for some of these small businesses that are going to go out of business. This is going to destroy small towns. This is going to turn small towns into something like a walking dead. Or I want you to watch this America. It's here on YouTube. The wonderful whites of West Virginia. The wonderful whites of West Virginia. This is what's going to happen to some of these small towns. You're going to see uh, crime is about to explode. You're going to see in a drastic increase in crime. You're going to see a drastic increase in suicide. Uh, I talked about this in other, one other video where in California, they saw a year's worth of suicides in one month. Substance abuse is about to be off the chain. You're going to have people who are going to become alcoholics. You're going to have people who are going to become drug addicts. It's because the pain is going to be so great because when these 10 to 12 million businesses go out of business, it's going to leave a ripple effect across the land. And when we look back at this, I think the consensus is going to be that we should have never shut down because I mean that that's, that's my analysis. What's going to come up is we should have never shut down and all of this economic carnage was not worth what we, the lives that we saved. It wasn't worth it. And I know that's a dark thing to say, but I think at the end of this and when we start looking back, it's going to be like, oh, you know, next pandemic, we're not going to shut down. Because as a business owner and, you know, I make money here on the Internet, but before I made money on the Internet, I made money out in the real world. I know what it takes to run a business when you have customers, you have foot traffic. It's a delicate game of cash flow 
and paying bills and getting inventory and keeping your business. It's this little dance that you got to do. And understand that there are many small business owners, as I talked about before, is when the money stopped, it did not slow down. The money just uh, completely stopped. And some of these business owners have been in a situation where the money has stopped for two to three months. They cannot survive this. It will literally take startup capital to reignite their businesses, especially if you're in retail, especially if you are in food industry. So a lot of these small businesses are toast. Now, one of the things that you got to understand, and one of the things that you need to pay attention to for all you, the economy is going to open up. It's, none of y'all have never run a business and I can tell by your comments because you're going about how you feel, how you, how it feels in your gut, how it, you, you've never run a business. You've never been responsible for payroll. You never had X amount of people looking at you on Friday when the checks were trying to come out. Cause you know, it is really interesting what happens on payday. People get happy on payday. They do a little jig, got my check, going to the bank, going to give me some money. Me, big booty Betty, we're going out. We're going to have a good time. It's the weekend. You ever notice that frequently that payday is Friday, the day before you're off? America, there are many people who are not going to have any more paydays for a long, long time. And I want you to understand and appreciate what's about to happen. Right now, uh, literally, I'm thinking about taking this camera right here and setting it up on 285 to show you what I'm talking about. I'm in Georgia and all the V-shaped people are like, get be patient. Remember, throw the ball on the, on the ground and it bounces up. That's a V-shaped recovery. Anything else is not a V-shaped recovery. So, you know, cause it's like, be patient. I was like, V-shaped recovery, velocity, speed. It's happening, it's, it's snap back. You know, like, fat, like a fat girl's panties, you pull the waistband and it snaps back. It ain't happening. It's not gonna happen. And many of the folks up here, cause once again, they're changing their tone. It's like, be patient, give it time. Well, it's the summer, it's normally slow for, we've never had a summer where we had 10 to 12 million businesses close. We've never had a summer. Do you know during the Great Depression, only 20,000 businesses closed, but there was 23,000 suicides. So we've never had anything like this. And I understand that people don't like bad news. I, I get that, I understand that. But the reality is dark. The reality is ugly. The reality is this is not going to be a quick recovery. The reality is that we're going to have a lot of pain. And the reality is that many people are going to second guess the closing of the economy. And there's going to be anger. There's going to be so much anger. There's going to be so many people who are going to be super pissed off. And this is not going to be just for a moment right now. There's a business owner who is winning his shop for the last time. He's turned his key in to his landlord and he said goodbye. And I'm telling you, that is a very, very emotional thing for you to shut up your shop, for you to close down your business. It is really emotional. And these people are gonna become alcoholics. They're gonna, some people are gonna commit suicide. Some people, are going to commit suicide over this. And then the, the ripple effect, because I'm waiting to see how many people pay their rent for June, because Georgia, we open. Georgia has had almost 500,000 people laid off since we've been open. We open, but they still laying off people. I, I want you to get this America, I want you to understand that we in deep doo-doo. Now, what do we do about this? First thing is you need to stack whatever cash you can. You need to stack your cash. 
Number two, you need to curtail any extraneous spending. Get rid of it. If you got a gym membership, get rid of it. Work out at home. Do power, power 99. Get rid of anything that you absolutely don't need. Three, 30 days to 2,500, get the course and begin to look to serve the community. Because even with 30% unemployment, that means 70% of the people gonna have their jobs. That means 70% of the people are going to need their houses clean. They're gonna need their cars washed. They're gonna need services. They're gonna need, they're gonna need people to do certain things for them. You should become that resource. Because as with my previous video, talking about income, the importance of income. Right now, there are many people who are literally about to be set back 20, 30 years. Their income is gonna be damaged for 20, 30 years because of this. And this is why I think there's gonna be so much anger. Families are gonna be run, there are gonna be suicides. And also, this is something else. I don't know if this is a negative, but marriages are about to explode. Going back to the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, women could not have credit in their name. Like if a woman went somewhere and tried to get credit, the guy would be like, well, let, let me call your husband and see if this is okay. When people needed each other, that's when marriages went up. The stage is being set where people are going to need each other. You're gonna see marriages explode. You're gonna see single mothers get married. You're gonna see fat chicks who can cook, who got a kitchen, who's full of vittles. They about to get married. Cause see, I know my mig toe and red pill viewers are like, you're throwing stuff at the computer screen right now. No, no, we, no, ain't nobody gonna marry no fat chick. Ain't nobody gonna marry a woman with kids. Yes, they will. Because everybody, to quote Janet Jackson, everybody gets lonely at some time. And there's chemistry and people. Marriage is about to explode. The building of family is about to explode. Community is about to explode because people are in a situation where they need each other. And I don't know if this is necessarily a bad thing, but Mark my words, you're gonna see a lot of women who wouldn't date a short man, they gonna marry a man two, three inches shorter than they are. You know why? Two, three inches, man, that, you know, you compare and contrast that to being lonely by yourself during the pandemic, that's about to go away. Women are about to start adjusting their attitudes. And I know people are like, oh no, they gonna be stubborn. I, I can already tell you. It's already happened. Women are about to become very cooperative and men are about to become humble because people don't have skills. People don't know how to make money. So with this, this is unprecedented. This has never happened. It didn't happen during the Great Depression. It didn't happen during the Great Recession. What we're about to have is cataclysmic. So once again, one of the things that you, you, you need to go ahead and get yourself a partner. Like right now, you know, it, it is, um, people are gonna need people. People are gonna need community. People are gonna need family. People are gonna need networks. The people who don't have family and networks are gonna be the people who are gonna perish, are gonna be the people who are gonna be submit to the badlands. This is going, and this is part of the global reset that we're going through. America's going through a global reset as the rest of the world. The big shift, the big wealth transfer. Because when all these businesses go, go out of business, the companies that will be in the business of helping people go out of business, the liquidators, the attorneys, the bankruptcy, they're gonna boom. That's gonna be a boom business. Recovery, it's gonna be a boom business. But right now, everything's about to go on clearance. Hertz just went bankrupt. So I would hate to be selling used cars at the moment because there will be a massive flood of used cars on the marketplace for months, if not years. 
I would hate to be selling new cars because people, like right now, they're giving cars away. Hey, you can get this car. You don't have to make a car payment for six months. We're going to give you 84 months to pay it off. They're giving cars away. And what's going to happen is watch that they lower the credit standards because they're going to get desperate. Right now, there are ships in California that cannot dock because they're full of cars and they have no place to put these cars. So these ships are just out there on the water with all these cars on them. That's costing millions to have a ship that should have docked, get these cars off the ship, get the ship back on the water, go pick up some more cars and come back. That process has been interrupted. So we have acres and acres of cars. And what this is going to catch up with real estate. Like right, right now, real estate is still kind of good. You know, a lot of inventory has come off the market. People are renting. But when those employees of those 10 to 12 million businesses lose their jobs and start to suffer economic hardship, this will impact the rental markets. This will impact the housing market. We're going to ha you're going to see some crazy stuff coming up. You're going to see other madness. I mean, we've never had this before. And when I see that and I understand that most of the people who are making commentary, they've never run a business. They've never been responsible for a payroll. So they're just going off of things that Trump and Mnuchin just said. But see, I've been in the fire. I know what it's like to have to pay 15 people on Friday and it's Sunday and I don't have the money. So I got to hustle like a demon from Sunday to Thursday to make sure that that money's in the payroll checking account. So these people get their checks. I've been there. That ain't a good position to be in. And right now there are many um, employers who are in that situation and they're just in the, I gotta let them go. I gotta shut up. And then some of these entrepreneurs are going to bounce back because there's some people who are built of hardy stuff. They're going to bounce back. But a lot of them, they're going to tuck it in. They're going to take that L and they're going to talk about it when they 60, 70, 80 years. Old. I remember when I used to have a business. I was a businessman. I was a businesswoman back in the day before the great Rona hit. They're going to be telling those tales to their grandchildren who will be into institutionalized poverty. Because see, another thing that's going to happen, which I addressed in the other video, which you should check out, is many people are going to see their incomes impacted for decades. And we're got to have the left behind people. We're about to have the people on the outside. We're about to have the people who are going to be have their face pressed up against the glass, looking at what the rich and pretty folk do. And they're gonna be, oh, I wish that was me. We're gonna have a shifting of social classes that we have never seen in America. See, in America, from the 1920s to about the 1970s, you could work your way up from the shop floor and become vice president or the president of the company. That was opportunity in America. Right now, what's about to happen is you're going to have to create your own opportunity. You're going to have to build your own cape. You're going to have to become your own Superman. And you're going to have to build your own family. And you're going to have to set your things up in a manner that is unprecedented. This is why there will not be a V-shaped recovery. Because with these 10 to 12 million businesses shutting their doors, is literally going to impact everything from the price of gas to houses. That is because what does this 10 to 12 million, 12, 10 to 12 million people, 10 to 12 million businesses represent? They represent millions of employees. Millions of people will not have a job. Millions. But once again, I'm just a messenger, America. I'm just telling you what I know. I'm just reading the tea leaves for you because right now you need to buckle up and get ready because this thing is going to impact somebody that you know. 
everybody gonna know somebody that got laid off. Everybody gonna know somebody that was impacted by this. Everybody. And it's gonna be very, very real, America. It's gonna be super real. So what I want you to do is go below, get 30 days to 2,500. I'm serious. Some of you gonna thank me two to three years from now. Some of you are like, eh, I'm just gonna get it as he said it, but I ain't gonna really do anything with it. That's gonna be a mistake. It's gonna be a big mistake because what is coming, what is about to happen, is going to create opportunity for those who are positioned to take advantage of the opportunity. If you're not in the position, it's like this opportunity never happened. If you're not set up, if you're not, you don't have no money. Like I've been, I've been banging the drum for the last three years. Get out of debt. Get rid of that sixteen hundred dollar a month Hellcat. Go ahead and balance out. Get your finances in order. I've been banging the drum because this was gonna come. See this, this is the thing where the people with the V-shaped recovery, this thing was coming. The Rona just made it come much faster, but this thing was coming. Because we were long overdue a recession by about five years. And if this had kept going on another five years, the drop, whoo, it would have been so much worse. And this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. But once again, don't take on any extraneous debt. If you have equity in your house, God forbid you do a HELOC. Don't do a HELOC. Don't be going out getting credit cards. Don't be accumulating debt. That debt, the D in debt is going to be for deadly. Don't do it. Start to live within your means and to stack as much money as you can. Because buckle up, buttercup, we're going to be on this ride for a minute. And what you know, because there are people like, well, it's the summer. You know, we've never had a summer where we had 40, 30, 10 to 12 million businesses go out of business. We've never had a summer like that. I know that people feel that, that there's this pent up demand, but, but as I've said on this channel, before the Rona, bef the average American couldn't come up with $400 for an emergency. Before the aroma, the average American could not come up with $2,000 cash before the Arona. Before. What do you think it's like now? Something good is happening is America is starting to save more money than ever before. But I'm just here to read the tea leaves for you and to let you know what's coming and how it's going to drop and how you can prepare yourself. Get out of debt. Stay out of debt. Don't be. I know cars. Cars are going to be cheap. Clothes are going to be cheap. Everything's going on fire sale. Men going on sale. Women going on sale. Houses going on sale. Clothing's going on sale. Everything's going on sale. But are you in the position to take advantage of these deals? Are you? All right, so that's all I got. Be sure to watch this next video. And also, I don't know, the webinar may have passed, but I'm gonna put a link below uh, telling you, go, I'm gonna go deeper in some things that you should do how to make money from scratch. So that will be linked below. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one. So be sure to watch this video. It's good for you. It's gonna be good for you.